Salutations on this rainy afternoon. It is I, old Cappy Boy, and we got another sodi pop here for you. And it's a tiny, tiny can. Thank you, friend of the channel, Kyle. He donated these to me. He gave me two. And I was like, you know what, Kyle? Thanks. This is the new Coca-Cola. We've covered the space one. We covered the other one that was like blue. I can't even remember the name, but they're doing these limited creations. This one is made by Rosalia, I guess. I don't know who that is, Ros Rosalia, uh, maybe, uh, isn't that the name of the Mario character? Anyway, it's pink, it's white, it's kind of got like this cool sketch sort of thing. It's called Move. Sort of looks like, like, Borderlands font, sort of. Hearts and butterflies, and it says Recycle Me there, that's kind of nice. Um, don't really know what this is supposed to taste like. I kind of looked into it. And someone said there's like a coconut extract to this, so I'm not really thrilled about that. Hopefully it's not too strong if it is. And someone else told me it tasted like sunscreen, so... <laughs> oh boy. We're in for a treat then, if that's the case. But it's a tiny can, so, you know, we don't have to worry too much about it. Uh, we got nutrition facts. There's a Coke, Coca-Cola. The art's all right. I mean, it's. I guess that's up to interpretation. Do you think it's cool or not? I think the space one looked a little bit cooler, and the blue one looked all right, too. This one's kind of, like, last, only because it's, like, kind of drawing style, but eh, it's whatever. It doesn't do anything for me. But anyway, 90 calories, 0 grams fat, two, 20 milligrams of sodium, 24 grams carbs, 24 grams of sugar, and it's 24 grams of added sugar, and no protein. Ingredients. Let's see if we can get any um, clues of what this might have. Uh, we got carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, caramel coloring, natural flavors, phosphoric acid, and caffeine. So no real um, sort of hints to see if there was anything added to this. Creations, pink. There's a scan and enjoy for some reason. Let's pour it in. We got a Coca-Cola glass for this. It's going to be brownish, so there's not really going to be too much in terms of interesting color. Probably should have poured this at an angle. Ah, look at the bubbles. Clang. No cement smell from the uh, few feet away that I am. I almost said scent and smell at the same time. Up close. Oh yeah, definitely smells of like a tropicalness to it. In that case, coconut, but... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is because I have it on the mind, but I kind of detected, like, copper tone sunscreen. <laughs> oh, boy. Definitely. You know what else has, like, a kind of a burnt scent to it as well? It, I don't know. Like, it, like somebody overcooked the high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> and it just traveled into the taste. Let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Open. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say that's not so bad, but then the ending part. Oh my god. That that was uh, not nice. Okay. F opening taste. It was mostly just like sweet cola flavor, and I was like, hmm, there's not really that much in interesting in this. I'm wincing right now because that aftertaste is absolutely horrible. It turns into something fruity, and I'm not exactly sure which fruit. I want to say mango or banana. It's that kind of realm, that kind of tree fruit, perhaps. <laughs> um, eventually, that transitions into coconut, and boy, does it like that consistency. My god, that stays, and it's still in my mouth. You, how, how long has it been? It's almost been like a minute, maybe, since I took that sip. That coconut is sitting in there, and it's like, I'm not even sure if it's fake coconut or real coconut, because it's like the uncanny valley taste of it, which is, it's not nice. It really isn't. If you like coconut, maybe you'd, like, be able to see past that, but, like, someone who's not really into it and hopes it's, like, just an accent, no, this is not an accent. This is, like, absolutely throttling over it. Oh, 
the fruit does not mesh well with the cola. It really doesn't, because you got two types of sweetness. And you might think that it would work, but they clash. And that's not a good thing. Like, sweet cola, high fructose corn syrup nonsense on this angle here. And then you got, like, fruity sweetness here. And they just do not mix well. They kind of try to fight for domination, and neither of them really win. I mean, I guess the fruity does, because the cola kind of goes away at the end, but, like... That whole mix is so muddy and it, it just tastes off, which is why I heard it. You could probably say it tastes like sunscreen. It just doesn't taste nice at all. Uh, Coca Cola, man, you did this Rosalia girl wrong. This is not a nice flavor. I, I don't like it at all. Um, thank goodness it's limited edition, so we don't have to stick with it for much too longer. No, it's it's not good, and I'm glad the can is only this small. Now that I've been, like, shocked by the coconut flavor, it doesn't last as long, but, like, that initial shock was enough to really make me go, Bleh. Yeah, no, I would say move on from Coca-Cola Move and get a different flavor, perhaps cherry or vanilla or something, anything other than this. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of this one. Uh... This is definitely last place on their whole special flavors for me. So for that, I'm going to give it like when your earphone blows out so it's just like you only hear half of the song out of rad. <laughs>